Okay, so for our first example, suppose f of x equals x cubed plus 4x plus 2, and we want to find f inverse prime of negative 3. So the first thing that we want to do is actually set our f function equal to negative 3. And the reason we want to do that is because negative 3 is an input value for the inverse. It's like an x value for the inverse, which means it's a y value for the original function. Remember, the x values for the inverse are the y values for the original function. So we set our function equal to negative 3. Now, I like to get all of the numbers on one side and then just use guess and check. I don't know how to solve a cubic quickly and easily, so I'd rather just use guess and check. And for me, just kind of thinking about it for a moment, I figure out that x is negative 1. The next step that we have to do is find f prime. So we find f prime, which is 3x squared plus 4. Then we take the, the number that we just found, negative 1, plug it in to f prime, so we get 7. And then the final answer is you take this and you take the reciprocal, 1 7th. So that means that f inverse prime of negative 3 is 1 7th. If we do another example, got another one right over here, backing up a little bit. Okay, so suppose f of x is the square root of x cubed minus 7, and suppose g is the inverse of f of x, and we want to find g prime of 1. It's just another way of saying find f inverse prime of 1. So what well, first thing we have to do is set our function equal to the value where we want the derivative. So we set the function equal to 1. We can square both sides if that makes it easier. Solve. And in this case, you can easily solve. You just get x equals 2. Next step, we're going to find f prime. In order to do this, we have to use chain rule. So we do 1 half times x cubed minus 7 to the negative 1 half times 3x squared. If we clean that up a little bit, we get 3x squared over 2 root x cubed minus 7. Then we plug the number we found in the first step in. So we get 3 times 4 is 12 over 2 times 8 minus 7, which is 1. So we get 12 over 2, or 6. So our final answer is 1 6. Don't forget you've got to take the reciprocal at the end for your final answer. Most of these problems the answers will end up being a fraction. That's it in a nutshell.